first up that's now. My name is Nick, and I'm here at the Rock River Robotics Off-Season Competition in Rockford, Illinois. I'm here with Team 525 Sport Dogs and the robot Melman, named after the giraffe from Madagascar. They have an incredibly unique wrist mechanism. All this and more coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. Head on over to SOLIDWORKS.com sponsorships to choose from desktop, cloud apps, or both to design your robot. All right, I'm here with Sean, who's going to talk about their very unique wrist system. So Melman here has a really cool wrist system that uses a 4-inch bearing straight off of a swerve drive. We use the same exact mounting methods in our custom swerve drive, and we copy and pasted that right up to our wrist. This allows us to twist it at whatever angle we want, so we can flip our whole arm over, and we can flip our whole cone over too at the same time. So we're going to have Mila here flip the wrist just to show you what it does. So that's our wrist in action. It uses a Versa Planetary and a Neo 550 straight down the center in the middle to control it. All right, one thing I'm curious about, how did you come up with this design? It's very unique. Well, it took a lot of thinking, but we were really curious in how we could flip over the cone, right? Mm -hmm. And there was a really great idea that we had, which was that we already do that with our wheels, right? That's a proven concept. So why don't we take that exact same design and just put it right up here? So we're flipping the same thing around. It's just a bigger assembly. Just got to be stronger. Yeah, that's very unique. All right, uh, next up we're going over to Jack to talk about the telescoping arm. So I'm Jack and this is our telescoping arm on our robot Melman. It's a um, tube, we have some low friction material in there with a driven by a Neo motor, the Lovejoy coupler, through to a threaded rod, allows us to extend. So if you want to demonstrate that now, you get a full range of motion out. Let's us place on high, mid, and low. Yep. Everything's all self-contained in there. It's all very well compact. Gives us plenty of space to route our wires up top, similar to how it would be on a CNC. All right, and next we have Mila talking about their custom swerve drive. Okay, so we designed our custom swerve in the 2020-2021 COVID off-season. Um, we designed them in-house, manufactured them in-house. We actually 3D printed them first to make sure that um, every, every piece fit together. And then we tested them actually at Rockford uh, two years ago. Um, these swerve are really, or these modules are really beneficial to us. They help cut down on swerve costs. Um, it's also a really good learning experience for our students to learn how to manufacture parts. Um, it also allows us to use four-inch diameter wheels instead of three. All right, thank you, Swart Dogs, for your time. This is an incredible robot. You've had a strong season, and best of luck in the rest of this event. I'm Nick, signing off. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. Head on over to SOLIDWORKS.com sponsorships to choose from desktop, cloud apps, or both to design your robot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.